All right, so I'm really excited. The new Mac Mini just came out a couple of days ago, and I wanna talk through this. I have a Mac Mini that I use at work on the daily, and I wanna talk about the frustrations I have with my current Mac Mini, and why this new Mac Mini could be a solution to the problems that I'm having. I'm a graphic designer. I have worked in the graphic design industry for a little over a decade now, and so I love looking at tech and gear and how it will help me do my job better. So if you come to the channel at your first time, consider subscribing, and I appreciate you coming to this video. If you decide to purchase this computer after you know going through some of this and you know talking about some of the pros and the cons of it, you can actually grab a link to this computer in the description below. That is an affiliate link and it will give me a small commission but at no extra cost to you. But that is what keeps this channel alive and these videos coming out to you to help you within the graphic design industry. So the frustrations I have with my current Mac Mini, let's talk about that and let's talk about how this could be a solution to those problems. It gets really slow even when I'm only using say the Chrome browser windows. I open up, you know, a couple, 10, 15 windows. What I mean is two windows with multiple tabs. And so what happens is it starts to slow down. I mean, it shouldn't slow down using the internet, in, in my opinion, that shouldn't suck all of its processing power, but it does. I often get the spinning rainbow of death. If I even think about opening Photoshop or InDesign at that same time, I mean, it's just game over. I've had my computer freeze up and shut down because it's just not enough power. This happens, I believe, because of two reasons. A, it's an i5 processor um, with eight gigs of RAM. So i5 processor with eight gigs of RAM. That's just not enough to run you know, a serious work day. So the new one, you have the option for the i3, the i5, and the i7. I wouldn't recommend doing any less than the i7. I would get the best. Now, as soon as you do the i7 with 16 gigs of RAM, Let's see what price we have here. And we have 512 gigs of solid state hard drive. You have a $1,700 computer. So right off the bat, that's not a budget computer by any means. If I were you, I would recommend getting 32 gigs of RAM and I would recommend getting one terabyte of storage. So right there, you are up to $2,500 and you haven't even gotten a screen yet. So this isn't exactly a budget machine, and that's why I think it's a great machine. I think it's a good upgrade for them, but it just isn't the best solution unless, and this is the thing, unless you absolutely love Mac, first of all, and you think they have amazing products, and B, you don't have a ton of space to set a huge tower next to your desk. Um, that is one benefit to these computers is it's literally, I mean, the computers are about this big, and you know they sit right there on your desk. It's a very efficient thing. So let's talk about this as from a graphic designer's perspective. Do they have, does this new computer have the performance to be a graphic design computer? Well, first of all, as we said, you get an i7 processor with 3.2 gigahertz, which is really good and that's well equipped for a graphic design computer. My only concern with the Mac mini is that it doesn't have any vents. And so the fan is in there spinning, but it doesn't have any vents. So say you start peaking out the performance, what they're gonna actually do is rather than run the fan faster, they're gonna start to throttle back some of that performance and it will slow your computer down. That's what I found with my Mac mini is it uses throttling to cool the computer rather than the fan because there's just no vents on the thing. So that's something you have to think about is you're gonna have a computer that's gonna run warmer because it's not gonna be able to vent. Think about a big desktop computer. What do they always have at the back of them? They have you know, an open chassis with a big fan that's cool in that computer. And that's why the desktops are so efficient and run so fast. So that's something you have to consider. If you're doing graphic design heavy lifting, the computer is gonna run a little bit warmer and it might throttle you back. So that's where having the more RAM will allow the computer not to run as heavy, not to run as fast and hard. And so it will allow the computer not to heat up as much. So that's the idea with the i7 and the fan cooling it. The next thing we're talking about is the RAM. Having the 16 to 32 gigs of RAM is really gonna be key. And that's an option here on the Mac mini. Having that 16 to 32 gigs of RAM will allow you to run more programs at once. So the way the RAM works, uh, if you don't know, basically RAM memory is taken as soon as you open one of your programs. So if you open Photoshop, X amount of RAM is taken. If you open Illustrator, X amount of RAM is taken. Premiere Pro, InDesign, so on and so forth. So allowing you to have more programs open is the RAM. If you only have eight gigs of RAM, that's why I find so much struggles to try and run Chrome, Photoshop, and say Illustrator all at the same time. Because I've sucked away all my RAM memory and I'm not able to open more programs without making my computer go very slow. So that's the situation I'm running into. With this new computer, it, it really overcomes that situation. 
The next thing I want to look at is the graphics processing unit. This unit comes with the Intel UHD Graphics 630. It's an integrated graphics processing unit. This will work for graphic design. This will not be a really good suited computer for say motion design or video editing. The reason is, is it has a very, I'll just say it has a weak graphics processing unit. I always recommend something that comes like in the MacBook Pros, which is the Radeon 560X which is currently the 2018 MacBook Pros. I think that's a decent benchmark. Um, or the GTX 1050 or above, as far as coming in like the Dell XPS 15, the Gigabyte, the Razer Blade, uh, the Vivo Book Pro, stuff like that. Those are computers that are equipped more for say motion design, video editing, stuff like that. So if you're getting this machine saying, yeah, I'm gonna do some graphic design work, I'm gonna also do some video editing, some motion graphics, I would, I'd consider not. I'd consider something like a PC tower um, and I've, Recommend a few in the description below if you're curious about PC towers that I recommend. Um, but the thing is, it's just not gonna be a really good motion or video editing computer. Just wanna say that straight up. I, I'd hate for you to be disappointed when you got this computer. It does come with multiple sizes of solid state hard drive. And so that's a really huge benefit. Um, you wanna use solid state hard drive because it's gonna be faster and more reliable. So that is one way you're gonna speed up the computer. Some towers uh, that I've noticed that are more affordable uh, come with hard disk drives. I would swap those out for solid states in a heartbeat. I would not, in this day and age, I would not be using hard disk drives. Solid state is the way to go. So I really hope this has given you some perspective on the Mac mini. I think it's a great upgrade, but I don't think it's earth shattering in the revolution of Mac. What I've seen Mac do since Steve Jobs has no longer been with us for the company is that they've really gone from being innovative to just finding their niche and sticking to it and giving products that are good enough to make the consumer happy. What I've found that these products are good for is not the upper level professionals in creative industries, but they're really, really good for the high end daily consumer. So when it comes to MacBook Pros, when it comes to Mac Minis and MacBooks, I find that these are really great for like businessmen who don't do a lot of heavy lifting with Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, video editing, all those things. There are guys that are working in, you know, say Excel. They're working on, you know, Salesforce CRMs. Uh, my dad loves his MacBook Pro. Um, but all he does is video chat, uh, write emails, and work in Salesforce CRM and probably some Excel docs. So he, that computer is super fast for those things because it doesn't take a ton of power to do them. But whenever you start video editing, whenever you start, you know, doing Photoshop work, or you start doing motion design and After Effects, that drains so much power from a computer. And so that's why I see Mac is, is good uh, and good for basic graphic design work, but as far as just taking it beyond, and that's where I see the industry going more and more every day is into things like motion design, is things like video editing, um, because so much of advertising and marketing is heading in that direction and we're already there, but even more so in the future especially in the rise of VR and, and things like that. So don't be behind the curve, be ahead of the curve. Um, if you're curious about videos about you know comparing Mac versus PC or the best laptops I recommend or the best desktop computers, check those videos out on the channel. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any new videos coming out. I appreciate you watching this video about the new Mac Mini, my thoughts from a graphic designer's perspective. If I've missed anything, please let me know. Please comment below. Uh, just hook me up with some information that maybe I missed and would help out the community. Thanks for tuning in this episode. Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. See you here in the next one.